Hello, it's Crystal and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a ton of decorating on our main floor. I really would like to focus on the living room, which as you can tell, I'm starting with a blank slate and have a bunch of decor ready to go. So I wanna get that room done for sure. And if I have enough time, I also want to decorate the rest of the playroom slash office. I already shared the Christmas tree that I decorated in here and now I'm just ready to finish off off the decor in this room. But first I wanted to share with you my coffee table and side tables did arrive a few days ago. They were very easy to put together. I actually ordered them from Wayfair and I love them so very much. They definitely warmed up our room. They have a little bit of a rustic wood look to them and some black, so I really have been enjoying them. I'm not so sure with the black lamps though. Not 100% sold on the lamps at this point, but I have those, so we're going to be using those today. But here is a quick look of all of the decor that I'm hoping to use in this room and probably a little bit in the other room, but I'm gonna go ahead and just start on the mantle and work my way around. This will be the first Christmas that I put a garland on our mantle and I always have these little command hooks on here year round. That way if I'm hanging like a banner or anything like that, they're ready to go. So I'm gonna use those existing little hooks that I have on there and basically just tuck this garland that I found from Kirkland into them so it can kind of hang off of the mantle a little bit. It gives me some extra space on top to put some decorations. The length of the garland was about perfect for our mantle. I didn't really want it hanging off of the sides. I was worried maybe the kids would pull on it, but this side was just a little bit short, so I'm just adding some eucalyptus that I already had. I'm not too worried about it because when we actually do put up our Christmas tree in here, it's going in this corner and you won't even be able to see that part of the mantle. But we're planning to do our Christmas tree on Black Friday. It's a tradition that we will be sticking to. So I'm going to be decorating basically everything in this room except for the Christmas tree and the stockings. I'm not going to hang the stockings today because I really want the kids to help me with that part. Right now I'm just adding some of the battery operated lights and then I will start adding some additional decor. The candles that I am adding are one of my most recent Amazon purchases, so I will definitely link them below, but they are pretty amazing. They are super realistic looking and they came with a little remote. I think they were only like $13 for three candles, which I thought wasn't actually a pretty good price, but they look so realistic. They are amazing and not to mention the remote is a definite perk as well to turn them all on. But right now I'm just adding some of these little house lanterns from the Target Wonder Shop. They were, I think, $5 a piece. I like them because they are a little bit taller than the dollar spot ones. And I think they were just the perfect height. Now, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to add like a sign or anything in the middle at this point. I'm just going to kind of wait and see once we get our stockings hung. Once I had the mantle all put together, I decided I did not like the red berries that were on the garland, so I actually pulled them all out, added just a little bit of greenery in there to fluff it up a little bit, added some buffalo check to kind of tie in the rest of the room, and then I feel like it looked a lot better. Thank you. 
Next up is the piano area and I should have moved those pillows on the floor but if you saw Bailey was sleeping so peacefully on the floor I didn't want to wake her so we will try to get this done without moving anything. But in years past I have always put our nativity set over here but I wanted to do something just a little bit different. I want to use my balance scale and put little Christmas trees on both sides and I was inspired by this sign that was actually sent to me from Amy Weaver Designs. I asked if she could make this farm fresh sign because I knew I wanted to do that theme in this area and she was like absolutely and it turned out just so great. So it's actually an heirloom quality sign made out of reclaimed barn wood. So how awesome is that? They also personalize signs, which I think would make a really great Christmas gift. So I'm gonna have their website linked below in the description box as well as a coupon code, but I'm absolutely loving how this little area turned out. I've always dreamed of having a little tree farm over here. Let me know in the comments below if you remember the snowflake blanket from last year. It was from Amazon and I talked about it so much, but I still love it and absolutely going to use it again this year. Adding in a bunch of other pillows, the Farm Fresh Trees ones came from Kirkland's and then that big Buffalo check one I could not resist was from Target. This wreath is from last year. I actually hung it over our mantle, so I'm excited to pull that out again. And then in the pockets, I wanted to use some similar things in those, so I just pulled some things from my stash that I already had. I think most of it was from Hobby Lobby, except for the flocked stems. Those came from Kirkland's.
because we just got these side tables, I really hadn't put too much thought into the decor that I was going to use. I kind of wanted to wait and see what they looked like before I picked up any decor. So it's a work in progress, but I did drape that blanket in the basket for now. That was from Hobby Lobby. And these books stay out year round. I thought I would add a couple of these little picks from the Target dollar spot to just give them a little bit of a festive look. But I definitely have more ideas for this table that I will share in my Christmas home tour. I had a birthday gift card burning a hole in my pocket. And so I found this piece of art from Kirkland's, of course, my favorite place to shop. And I feel like it's the perfect fit. It honestly glows so much above that lamp. It is just so cute. And obviously it goes with my whole tree farm theme that I am going for in here. doing a little test on our coffee table. So the boys have been playing a lot of games and toys on here and I'm not quite sure if this tray will last here or not. I don't know if they're gonna play with it too much or throw it. So I'm not gonna fill it up with decor yet, but I did wanna protect the surface of our table by putting those little furniture felt pads on the bottom so it would easily slide around. And I had this extra garland sitting there. So I put that in there for now, as well as my Bath and Body Works candle. I'm just lighting this while I decorate and the boys are napping, but it will absolutely go back in the kitchen once they wake up. Moving into the foyer, I wanted to decorate by my little hooks by the front door. So I hung a wreath from the Target dollar spot. The sign was from a couple of years ago and the joy pillow is actually part of the hearth and hand line at Target. I have like a special place in my heart for anything that says joy. It's like my favorite. When I actually share my big Christmas home tour, I will try to talk through and share where everything is at. But if there's something that you have seen that I haven't talked about, definitely let me know in the comments below. But the last room I wanted to focus on was the playroom office area. Like I said earlier, I had decorated the tree, but that was about it in the room and that little nook. So I just wanted to add a few extra touches in here. This wreath I wanted to change out with a flocked one. I guess I could call this the flocked room because everything that I added was basically that. So I'm gonna switch out the wreath to a Walmart one that I had picked up last year, but I do know that they have them again this year. With joy, yes, it's Christmas. Oh. Snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. This time of year is a time to cheer. Let our love lines are 
family and friends have a Christmas with so much love. I love to make this spot just look so cozy because it's basically the first thing you see when you walk into the door. So some of my favorite things in this area is to drape a blanket over it as well as add a pillow. So two plaid pillows. These were from TJ Maxx of last year and the last one is from the Target dollar spot. All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. I did a whole tiered tray video sharing how I decorated all of the trays. So if you haven't watched that, I can link that above for you. But I also wanted to display my nativity set on this table. So I shared that I had picked up this little barn from Hobby Lobby and filled it with some of my willow tree figurines. I actually decided not to pull all of them out this year, just kind of the basic essentials. And I absolutely love it. Merry Christmas to you. My decorating time for the day was pretty much done for. The boys were about to wake up. I could kind of hear them starting to move around, but I wanted to try to at least get these shelves dusted off and put some of the decor that I had brought up on them. I actually do have a plan in mind to make it look a lot better than it is right now. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. Caroling through the snow all day. This joy sign was actually another birthday gift card purchase from Kirkland's and I was going to put it out on my front porch but when I got it it was honestly just too nice to go out there. I was afraid the snow would ruin it so I thought that was the perfect spot. If you are enjoying today's video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you aren't already. I still have more decorating that I need to get done. My next project I think is going to be my kitchen and dining area. If you'd like to see that video, please let me know in the comments below. I know you all seem to enjoy when I did the fall one, but like I said, let me know if you wanna see that. But I think the final missing piece in the living room is the Christmas tree and we will be doing that on Black Friday. It's just tradition. We love doing that as a family. going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I have a few things that I do want to add and I will probably switch some things around as time goes by. So definitely make sure that you stick around for my Christmas home tour. It will be coming very soon and I'm so very much looking forward to spending this Christmas season with you all during Vlogmas. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.